Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to a higher. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today, we're still in the book of Philippians, chapter 2, True Humility. I sure hope that you guys are saved, have given your life to Christ Jesus. You're living a daily life of repentance, reading God's word, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to the Father in sincerity and truth. And if you don't know him and you don't have that personal relationship, which is what the Father is seeking from each and every one of his children, then you keep crying out to him till you hear from him. He knows your heart. He will answer you. Keep crying out till you hear from him. He will teach you the word of God. He taught me. He's continually teaching me. He that has begun a good work will not stop until the day of Christ's coming. And also we live in these fleshly bodies. These fleshly bodies. The flesh is always warring with the spirit. So please repent daily. Because there are some uh, sins that we unknowingly. Or we in error not knowing. So in ignorance. So let us repent daily. Crowds for the Father and tell him that you're sorry for what you've done. And if you know that you've done something, confess it. Repent. Confess it and turn from your wicked ways. It means change your way of thinking. Do different. Don't purposely do sin. If you know it was you in error when you did it, don't do it anymore. Don't, don't you know, live in sin. Willingly. Okay? Glory be to a higher. And, um, please live in love, God's love, loving on your fellow man. Okay. God is love. And he has no respect to persons either. I love you all the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. We're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. And we're going to get right into our reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, my Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for our parents. We love them. And they train us up by your word. Thank you, my Father, for giving us siblings we love. Thank you, my Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Let us go into our reading. Hallelujah. Chapter 2 in the book of Philippians, true humility. Christ encourages you and his love comforts you. God's spirit uni unites you and you are concerned for others. Now make me completely happy. Live in harmony by showing love for each other. Be united in what you think as if you were only one person. Don't be jealous or proud, but be humble and consider others more important than yourselves. Care about them as much as you care about yourselves and think the same way that Christ Jesus thought. Christ was truly God, but he did not try to remain equal with God. He gave up everything and became a slave when he became like one of us. Christ was humble. He obeyed God and even died on a cross. Then God gave Christ the highest place and honored his name above all others. So at the name of Jesus, everyone will bow down. Those in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and to the glory of God the Father, everyone will openly agree, Jesus Christ is Lord. Lights in the world. In the world. Lights in the world. My dear friends, you always obeyed when I was with you. Now that I am away, you should obey even more. So work with fear and trembling to discover what is really mean, what it really means to be saved. God is working in you to make you willing and able to obey him. Do everything without grumbling or arguing. Then you will be the pure and innocent children of God. You live among people who are crooked and evil, but you must not do anything that they can say is wrong. Try to shine as lights among the people of this world as you hold firmly to the message that gives life. Then on a day when Christ returns, I can take pride in you. 
I can also know that my work and efforts were not useless. Your faith in the Lord and your service are like a sacrifice offered to him. And my own blood may have to be poured out with the sacrifice. If this happens, I will be glad and rejoice with you. In the same way, you should be glad and rejoice with me. Timothy and Aphroditus. Epaphroditus, sorry. I want to be encouraged by news about you. So I hope the Lord Jesus will soon let me send Timothy to you. I don't have anyone else who cares about you as much as he does. The others think only about what interests them and not about what concerns Christ Jesus. But you know what kind of person Timothy is. He has worked with me like a son in spreading the good news. I hope to send him to you as soon as I find out what is going to happen to me. And I feel sure that the Lord will also let me come soon. I think I ought to send my dear friend Epaphroditus back to you. He is a follower and a worker and a soldier of the Lord, just as I am. You sent him to look after me, but now he is eager to see you. He is worried because you heard he was sick. In fact, he was very sick and almost died. But God was kind to him and also to me, and he kept me from being burdened down with sorrow. Now I am more eager than ever to send Epaphroditus back again. You will be back. You will be glad to see him, and I won't have to worry any longer. Be sure to give him a cheerful welcome, just as people who serve the Lord deserve. He almost died working for Christ, and he risked his own life to do for me what you could not. Mm. God's will and tomorrow was still in the book of Philippians chapter 3, being acceptable to God. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some, he died for us all. And if you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Choose ye this day whom you can serve, who you're going to serve. You cannot be saved by any other. It's only Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the Father. As the Lord said, no one comes to the Father but by me. And that is the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no other name no, no other name known in heaven amongst men whereby we must be saved. No other name. It's only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Though he has other names, he is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. Hallelujah. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we almost do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. If you want your Father who art in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, you better forgive your fellow man or your Father will not forgive you. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, let it go. I don't care what he or she has done to you, whoever they may be, forgive them. So your Father who art in heaven can forgive you. Not only that, your prayers, you don't want them hindered. They can be hindered if you don't forgive. I love you all to love the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.